Hop it in, welcome back. Well, don't just run, rock your 5K at USO Guam's 14th annual rock and run for our heroes, 5K run and walk. Joining me now with more, our race director, Ronnie Connolly, and area programs manager here on Guam, Edmund Lupita. Welcome. Half a day. Thank Half you for day. having us. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, Rock and Run, I've done it before. It's a lot of fun. It's a 5K. Um, tell us about this year's Rock and Run. Well, it's uh, just a lot of fun, like you said. Uh, we're bringing the party back to Skinner Plaza, which uh, if you don't know where it's at out there, it's behind the Guam Museum and directly across Chamorro Village. And uh, we expect over a thousand runners, hopefully 1,500. Come on out, it's this Saturday, uh, as we said, and uh, it's a rock and run event. So mm -hmm. we, we're gonna rock it out. We have DJs along the course. Uh, one DJ at Skinner Plaza that will be uh, blasting some music out there uh, for the runners. And then along the course at the water stations, another DJ. And um, at the Matson Turnaround, Matson's mm -hmm. our uh, title sponsor for this event, have been for uh, 14 years now. Um, and so we turn around at their new building at Adaloop, and uh, at the turnaround will be Joe Guam. So what? he'll be uh, rocking out some Guam uh, Island vibes there um, at Matson. Um, and the runners come back to Skinner Plaza for our post event, which includes lots of prize drawings and uh, two tickets from our friends at United, oh. uh, anywhere in Asia and Micronesia, and uh, just lots of fun for the family. We'll have uh, you know, f uh, fruit and drinks and refreshments for all of our finishers, as well as a dry fit t-shirt that we're bringing back mm -hmm. um, for the first thousand runners. Nice. I, I love it. Live music, DJs. What more can you ask for? This is Saturday morning, right? Yes, yeah, Saturday morning, uh, bright and early. Uh, we'll be there. Uh, Showtime, we ask, uh, is at 5 a.m. Uh, go time will be at 6, and we expect the event to wrap up by around 8, 8.30. Nice. Yeah. Good idea. Now, a little thing that we're, uh, we were talking about a little earlier is USO. Uh, maybe a lot of the folks back home aren't, aren't so sure what the USO does, what your mission is. Uh, maybe can you share with us why that mission is so important for service members and their families? Okay, well, I'll start off. Um, the USO's mission is to connect service members to family, home, and country throughout their service to the nation. So uh, what that means is we bring a lot of connection. And uh, what that uh, entails nowadays is connectivity through uh, social media, through internet, phone calls, and we have all of that at our USO centers. We have two centers here on Guam, two Mon Bay and uh, USO Anderson, um, where we have just amazing connection from our friends at GTA. They've supported us since we opened up both centers with the fastest internet you can get, <laughs> fo free phone calls uh, locally into the States uh, for our service members okay. and their families, uh, as well as uh, printing capabilities um, uh, and uh, so much more. So uh, we do that as well as deployments, homecomings. Mm -hmm. uh, just two weeks ago, I was in Tinian serving a Thanksgiving meal, a hot meal on Thanksgiving day to uh, some uh, troops that were out there uh, living in tents and eating MREs. Uh, assisting with the disaster relief efforts and uh, repairing resident homes in Tinian. So they're doing a lot of hard work out there and we just wanted to make sure they were supported as well. Um, Ronnie was actually the, ra the uh, director of the USO when it was at PD. Mm -hmm. uh, so, it, you know, it had a long run in PD and closed in, I think, in the mid-90s, Ronnie? Yeah, early 90s. Nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ronnie actually started this race in 2005, wow. and it was the seed money that opened up our USO on Guam as we know it today. Definitely. Yeah. So this race is very important to you. Yeah. Well, it, it's, uh, <laughs> it, you know, what's great about racing on Guam is that it's a, it's a nice family event. It brings a community together, and I think this is the way the USO gives back to our community in that we offer this race, and it's a way to meet people and come out, bring your families, go to breakfast. You know, it has a very good feeling for the entire community. And even though the USO is geared, of course, towards the military, but again, we have so many military here on Guam, especially, right. you know, the uh, National Guard, which we do quite a bit with. And also, this USO is a little bit different in that it services all branches of the armed forces. Mm. And so most USOs are only geared toward one, uh, big operations like this. So okay. this USO is quite special because we do, um, we reach out to everybody. Definitely. I like that. It sounds like a great community event. So again, where can people sign up? I'm sure people are going to be really excited when they see that there's going to be live music and fun. Uh, yeah, so where can, can they uh, sign up? You can join in all the fun by signing up at Hornet Sports. Uh, they're taking registrations right now, as well as at our USO Tumon Bay location, which is located in the Royal Orchid Hotel. And for those up north uh, with base access, you can sign up 
at USO Anderson. Perfect. And online. Anything else we need to know before race day? Um, just maybe more of the particulars, Ed. What about uh, the date? And we're oh, giving. Oh yeah, just uh, to review again, it's Saturday, December eighth. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and uh, we know that uh, there's a procession happening in Aganya that afternoon. But we've uh, spoken to the archdiocese and the archbishop, and everything's good to go. So we'll be out there again, December eighth, uh, in the morning. Show time five a.m. Go time is at six. And uh, yeah, lace up your running shoes, I'm join ready. us, and uh, rock on out on Saturday. I love it. Super and we have exciting. prizes for all the categories. So yeah. um, there's prizes in every category and fastest uh, runner, both men and women, or man and woman. That'll and be uh, besides the t shirts, you know, they get great prizes and mm -hmm. are awarded. And uh, we have lots of great raffles. And raffles, too, for the not raffles. so fast runners. <laughs> well, keep it tuned when KUM News Extra returns.